Now, it's no secret that the left-leaning Hollywood machine and the liberal stars that it produces were in the bag for the anointed one this election. But what happens when you're in the entertainment industry and your dad are back a Republican like Mitt Romney? Well, my next guest recently found out the hard way when she was viciously attacked for tweeting the following. Can't get into, uh, get too political in 140 characters, but for those who are asking, I am voting Romney Ryan. And as usual, liberals responded with their hate-filled rhetoric. And there's a few pretty nasty tweets that they sent out. Here's what they said. Melissa Joan Hart, it says, uh, as I read today, vote today and punch yourself in the uterus. Ouch. Another one read. So, at Melissa Joan Hart is politically ignorant. Boop. And finally, this one read, you ain't been boop since Sabrina. And joining me now is actress Melissa. That was a lot of bleep. That, that was nothing compared to what you really got. No, no. Some yeah. of the stuff I got was, was pretty disgusting. Yeah. Well, what do you attribute this to? I mean, the same thing happened to Stacey Dash when she came out and she said she was voting for Romney. Why, why can't you be conservative or vote for a Republican and, and work in the entertainment industry? You know, I learned this pretty early on, um, on Sabrina. I was 20 years old when we started the show, and it was the first time I could vote. And um, I, did, I did my research. I, I asked around. I asked questions. I, I, you know, looked up the issues and, and the candidates, and I decided who I was going to vote for. And I walked into work very proud because I grew up in the 90s with the the rock the vote was the big thing you know mm -hmm. everything was rock the vote go out and vote you gotta vote you gotta be heard and so I was just so proud I walked in with my I voted sticker I was so proud of myself walked on the stage to start rehearsals and everyone's like you voted yeah okay who'd you vote for and I said Dole and oh my gosh I learned a lesson that so day. So rock the vote one way rock, rock the, vote the vote for the Democrat but only or, this way. Yeah. yeah so I just um it, it, it just it, it schooled me in the fact that you just don't talk about politics in Hollywood and um, you know and most people don't think the way you do but I've quickly found out kind of behind the scenes that a lot of people do feel that way but a lot of people do vote Republican but they're afraid to say it but they're afraid to say it it's almost like a blacklist it is sort of like you know, a blacklist it, it's a little scary there's uh, and I just found out that there's a Wikipedia page that says who backed Romney in, in the celebrity a Wikipedia page says which Hollywood stars mm -hmm. Backed, Back yeah. Romney. So, in other words, a little blacklist. So it could be. It could yeah. be used. You know, it's funny. Um, I've had people that work in your industry that come up to me and they'll say, I really agree with you. I really <laughs> like what you're doing. Keep it up. Keep it up. Don't stop. But don't mention my name yeah. on the air. Yeah. I'm like, well, I, I, how do you live your life in fear that way? Yeah, it's, it's a little weird. Um, you know, it, it's... Um it's hard to find that fellowship, but when you do, it's, it's great. And, um, you know, it's hard for things like this. Like, what's unbelievable is I live in a country where I'm supposed to be able to, you know, have this freedom. Choose whoever I want to vote for, you know, whatever religion I want. And, and I feel like there's, there's these limitations. There's, it, it's not like it used to be. You know, one of the things that really stuck out as I read through your, mm -hmm. your tweets or those that tweeted to you. Um, a lot of people brought up, how, ca how can you say that as a woman? Are you that delusional? Um, yeah. Well, I got is... blasted a lot. I got blasted as, you know, I must hate gay people if I'm, yeah, that too. If I'm, if I'm voting for Romney. I didn't even say I was Republican. I just yeah. said I, who I'm voting for. All I simply, yeah. as you read there, all, I'm, all I said was, I'm voting Romney Ryan. That's all I said. That's all you said. I never said anything political. I never even said I was a Republican. But here's the narrative. One person tweeted you that, so you don't think women should have health care, equal rights, equal pay. Who supported that? And, you know, at these days, it's, I, I think it. because we only have two parties, you get put in a box, you know? And so if I voted for Romney, it must mean this. And the thing to me, what it is, is it's priorities. My priority right now is I just had a baby three, uh, eight weeks ago. I have three little boys. Yeah. yeah, they're six, four, and I hope they're almost two months <laughs> so far. Um, <laughs> no, but you know, well, my <laughs> six-year-old asked if he could be president today. So Good. I Maybe. told him, don't Twitter, you know, pictures of your penis or smoking pot or anything like that. Um, no, but so I, you know, I don't even know where I was going now. But, no, well, oh, no, so I have these, no. I have three boys. My priority yeah. is my family. It's their future mm -hmm. is my priority. So for this election, I wanted to vote for their future. And to me, that's, the, the debt is the number one problem to me. And it's, it's not, you know, some of the social issues and whatnot were not at the top of my list. I don't get this part. You know, the whole Sandra Fluck controversy. Bill Maher donates a million bucks to Obama call Sarah Palin the C-word. Mm -hmm. Any conservative ever said that about a Democratic oh, woman yeah. be eviscerated, rightly so, yeah. in my opinion. Um, but it seems for many women it came down to birth control, but not even birth control, that people ought to pay for your birth control. Yeah. That to me is like, 
I, I don't get why how people think that the government is going to take care of every aspect of their life because we're going to well, go. Broke. It's funny that the, I think it's funny that the Democrats will call the Republicans. You know, will say that um, that you know if if you're not for if you're for if you're pro-life, if you're for a baby, you know, they don't think of it in terms of baby, they think of it in terms of women. And I think the Republicans think of it the other way, you know, they just think about the baby, not the woman. So I think that it's, you've got these two sides that look at it very extreme, and there is, there is middle ground, and I think we have it right now in you the know, You seem like you really don't care. Listen, join the political world. You don't seem like this has uh, impacted you or affected you in a negative way. No, it has not. It definitely no. has not, because it, what it did, it's a little scary. <laughs> at first, when I was seeing these things, I was literally up at three in the morning after the election, Breastfeeding my my little baby, reading the tweets, like apologizing to him that you know for his future. But I was like, I was I was just reading these tweets and feeding him, and just it was so hurtful, and and I started to get upset over it. And then I thought, after a day or two went by, I'm like, I'm not going to go on Twitter anymore. I might have to delete, delete my account. Just but the thing is, I don't put out hate, and I don't want to see hate on my Twitter feed. If you don't like what I have to say, don't follow me. You yeah. know, it's that's I like my opinion. I like retweeting it. <laughs> and then and everybody gangs and up attack. on them. You know, the thing is, yeah. that night I gained 20,000 followers. I may Good have job. lost three, 4,000, but I gained 20,000 followers. So. We'll take it, 16. <laughs> hey, Melissa, good luck in your career. Thank Very you. nice to meet you, and, and thank goodness you speak out. And I think more people should, regardless, even liberals, yeah. you know, yeah. they can come on this program. They're yeah. always welcome. There you go. All right, good to see you. Thanks. Thank you.